Okay, let's start our discussion on the profit equation. First of all, profit is good. We all know that a company has to make profit to stay in business. If you're not making profit, you wind up like Detroit. But with profit, we know that we need revenue, which is basically your sales minus returns. And uh, we also know we have costs, which costs or expenses, however you want to say it, in operations we use the term cost. So simply put, our profit equation equals our revenue minus our costs. Simple enough. Um, now if we could break this down further, we can see that revenue is uh, basically the selling price of whatever we're selling. times the quantity. Right? We add up all the everything we sell times how much it's sold for, you know, we get our revenue. Um, costs are a little bit more complicated. First we have fixed cost. Our fixed costs are our overhead, such as our management, or our rent, or mortgages. Um, accounting is a, typically a, a fixed cost. The marketing department is a fixed cost. But we also have variable. Variable costs are associated with the direct labor and direct materials that go into generating revenue. Um, they're variable because we only make one unit, we only have the variable cost to make that one unit. Whereas we make a thousand, we have the variable cost to make a thousand units. And so the variable costs are the variable cost per unit times the quantity, how many we produce. So we could actually write the profit equation equals our revenue, which is the selling price times the quantity sold, minus costs. Our costs are our fixed costs and our variable costs. So really these are the exact same thing, we've just broken them down one step further. Okay, now we're going to use the profit equation we just generated um, to calculate break-even. Uh, we're going to take a, our profit equation again is our revenue minus our cost. Uh, we have our fixed cost and our variable cost. Um, <clears throat> we're going to take advantage of that at break-even, our profit is going to equal zero. Just think about it logically for a second. If we're breaking even, we're neither making money nor losing money. So what we're interested in is finding out the quantity, how much we have to produce to break even. Um, so we can rewrite our profit equation reflect that we have zero profit. Now we can just solve for Q. I bring my fixed costs over to the other side. I factor out Q. both sides. So Q equals my fixed cost divided by my selling price minus my variable cost. And again, the selling price is in, uh, per unit, 
variable cost is per unit. Fixed cost is your total fixed cost. Okay, this is just a visual representation of what we just did. Um, this axis is quantity, this axis is price. Um, we notice our fixed cost here are constant. Regardless of how many we produce, it always remains the same. Just think of it as your landlord wants his rent money at the first of every month, no matter how much you worked or not. We have our variable cost, which vary as the quantity goes up. The more we produce, the more our variable costs go up. And we have our revenue. Uh, the point where revenue and the combination of fixed and variable costs intersect um, is our break-even point. You notice I've stacked the variable costs on top of the fixed cost here. If we sell, and the break-even is a quantity, it's a number, number units produced. So if we don't produce that money, we know we're going to be in the red and lose money. If we produce more, we'll be in the black and we will make money.